Hey everybody, Jesse here with another episode from SD Tutorials. We're going to learn a really cool technique today using lim Luma inverted mats to create a 5 second bumper. And what's going to happen is using those Luma inverted mats, it's going to make our elements look like they're shooting out from nowhere. And this is a really cool um, technique to learn because there's a lot of different applications for it. Um, a lot of really creative ways to decide what you want or what you don't want to show up or transition in and out with your uh, with your animations. So let's go ahead and get into it here. We're going to create a new project, a new composition, uh, 1280 by 725 seconds long. Um, I've downloaded an image off of Google. Uh, if you've got video, that's great, but because we're using an image, we're going to keyframe a little bit of movement in here so that it's a little bit more interesting to look at than something that is just um, static. Okay, so let's create the plate now that our text is going to sit on top of. And let's call this plate. Uh, grab one of the anchor points and reduce it to a, a more manageable size. And we're going to go to Effect, Generate, Ramp. Uh, let's get some nicer looking colors on here. Okay, so let's go ahead and create some text now. Welcome back. And let's fix up the kerning here a bit. And just adjust the size here so it looks a little bit nicer. Uh, that's looking good. So what we want to do now is just make this a little bit nicer. Uh, what we want to do now is draw in our m our mask layers. So this is going to be our plate mask. And make sure you deselect before you start creating a new shape. Um, this is going to be our text mask. So let's label this text mask. And we're going to label this one plate mask. And it's important we na label them because we want to know which ones we're working with, and also because uh, the mask has to be above the layer so that uh, when you go to assign a track mat, it targets the, the layer that's on top. So for us, it's our plate mask. So we want to go ahead and activate this Luma inverted mask for the plate and then on the text. So what you can see is going to happen is when each of our objects go behind their masks, they're going to look like they're disappearing. So what we want to do now is keyframe that movement. So we select our layers and hit position to open them up. Uh, hit the keyframe button, sorry, the stopwatch button to activate keyframes. We can move back a bit here to the beginning, add another keyframe, and at this point we can deselect and move our individual layers behind their masks. So they shoot in, that looks pretty cool. Let's add some motion blur uh, really quickly here. Activating it on the objects themselves, then in the composition. Uh, hit zero on your numeric keypad, or up here you can hit this button, it'll do a RAM preview. So we're just gonna let it load up to about there and then hit it again and we can see what that looks like. You know what, that's pretty cool. What we should do is put an easy ease on these frames, so just click and drag to select them and hit F9, or you can uh, right click and then with keyframe assistant choose easy ease. And what that's going to do is have them slow down as they reach that last keyframe, so it's a little easier of a transition than just screeching to a halt there. Okay, so um, that's pretty much the gist of it. Uh, the only other thing I wanted to show you guys now was how we can transition them out. Um, but what we should do first is this. I'm going to show you, just in case you've gone ahead and keyframed, or you've got a series of keyframes on an object and you want to make an adjustment to where it's sitting, but you know you can't just move it around now because you're creating an extra keyframe. Uh, and you want it to, you want this path to stay the same. What you can do is create a new null object and then you can 
remembering to select both the mask and the layer itself, uh, use this parent tool here by grabbing it and dragging over and releasing on the null. And what that'll do is it'll allow you to carry around this uh, animation without sacrificing those keyframes, without losing where they go or adding new ones or, sc or screwing them up. Um, but you know what? We look pretty good. You know what we could do is sort of nudge it to the right here a bit to make sure we're absolutely centered and maybe down a bit. Um, so that's a cool technique if you've got a bunch of keyframes but you want to move the entire thing, you can just uh, assign it, uh, parent it to a null object. Again, if we want to make the animation slower or faster, we can just move our keyframes further apart or closer together. And, uh, okay, I'm going to show you how to transition out now. So we go down to the end here, say, where we want it to start shooting out. And we're going to click and drag. We can't do two at once. We'll just do one layer at a time, copy, and then paste. And then the same with these ones. You're first anchor or your first keyframe there is going to be the one that uh, pastes in on the scrubber here and uh, now we want to switch these around assuming we want to keep the time in the same what we can do is move our scrubber to where these keyframes are um, you can deselect and it'll set a marker by hitting asterisks you'll set a marker up here in your uh, is this the time ruler um, or alternately you can click on an individual layer and hit asterisks and it'll create a marker on that uh, layer. So that's a neat little tip just in case you have to do some adjustments with keyframes uh, like so. So we're going to mark this and we're going to mark this and we're going to switch them. So what we end up getting is an animation where our text and our plate shoot in and people see that they've been welcomed back and then our animation shoots out and the show starts again because we've just back, come back from a commercial break and people are looking at your bumper. So uh, I hope that uh, shed some light on how to work with Luma mats and uh, taught you guys a cool technique and I hope to see you again.